The goal of every service department in automotive is how can we make technicians more efficient? And when technicians are having to run back and forth to the parts department or we have to add personnel to be able to run parts out to them, you obviously create a lot of downtime, time where technicians aren't able to do what they do best, which is fix cars. And so the robots have been able to keep technicians in their stalls longer, let them focus on the job they need to do and get our cars back to our customers quicker. We have roughly 100 bays in the shop. Um, so when we have a part or multiple parts that need to go out to multiple different technicians, we would have to send three different people out to three different places. In this case, we're not needing to send three different people. We can send the robot out with the parts for every single technician at that point. Um, they can go to three different stalls anywhere in the shop. So it basically allows our proficiency to go through the roof as we're looking to make sure the technicians stay in their stall as long as possible. As a business owner, we have to assess our software and hardware needs all the time. The goal with software and hardware isn't necessarily to eliminate personnel or eliminate jobs. We just want to find resources to make our current employees more efficient. The robot has helped us become more efficient. It has helped everybody in the parts department become more efficient. It's helped all of our technicians become more efficient. They can provide a better life for their family and they can do a better job themselves. You know, Mercedes-Benz always been on the forefront of technology. Uh, this just adds to it, right? It's something that you we haven't seen in the industry. Um, it's something that's outside the box, if you will. I hate to use a phrase like that, but it is. Um, and it's something that as more people see it, I think we'll start to see more people utilizing it and growing their business using these robots as well.